Why would you play the lottery when you could win copious amounts of money with this week's best bets? Let's beat the books. This is Locked On Big 12. You are Locked On Big 12, your daily podcast on the Big 12 Conference. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome into Locked On Big 12. I'm Drake Toll from America's number one Big 12 podcast, Locked On Big 12. Thank you for making this show your first listen every single day. Today, we are going to beat the books, give you the best bets in the Big 12 this weekend. And if you hit subscribe, I get to keep my job first. It's a big week in sports. Tonight, the Big 12 squad show drops. It's one of the best. We talk beefy five-layer burritos, as well as Jimmy Carter, as well as divorce. Uh, It's something. And the Band of All World Tour draft is also this evening. And I have, this week in the Big 12, BYU covering against BYE. It turns out BYE is in for a beatdown because it has to take on both BYU, Cincinnati, and a lot of other people. Colorado. Kansas State and Utah, you each get buys. Will you cover? Can you win? I, I foresee BYU getting up big against BYE, then the offense kind of stalling and the defense getting tired because the offense stalls. Give me BYU 31, BYE 28. Cincinnati imposes the run, uh, but Brennan Soresby in the end is the difference. Give me the Bearcats by seven in a tough game. Colorado's got a load. I mean, the wide receiver core spectacular. They're going to run all over them. Colorado by 21 against the bye week. Kansas State, I mean, they limp in, need to get healthy. Uh, you know, give me Kansas State by one or two in overtime, one of those sneaky games. And then Utah. Still no Cam Rising. Maybe he's able to rest up during this game. Uh, Utah wins by one nail biter. Isaac Wilson throws a Hail Mary and it's his redemption arc. But for the real best bets this week, let's hop into it. The first thing I'm going to do is the Cardinal sin. I'm taking Houston, not to win, not even close to win, but to cover 16 and a half points in TCU in their football game they're playing this week. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hmm, Drake, you just said Houston and football game in the same sentence. Why on earth would you be on their side? And you're such a big TCU fan. All those things are true. But the analytics at College Football Insiders tell me to take Houston. The final projected score of this game is 31-23. That means I have a lot of leeway, a lot of leeway. Now, now why on earth would any analytics in this country pick Houston to score 23 points after they have gone eight scoreless quarters? On tonight's Big 12 Squad Show, you will hear Parker Ainsworth of Locked on Cougs ask for a touchdown. Nay, my friend, you need at least a field goal. At any point, it would be better than what's happening. You're 114th on running the football. On the pass, you're 96th offensively. How? You're 105th on third and fourth down offensively. How will you cover against TCU? I don't know, but the computer says to take it. And the defense of Houston is actually pretty good. It grades fairly well compared to um, them sucking. They're not good. And you know that. I I think Houston this week covers against TCU. Why? Because the computer tells me so. And I'm going to trust the computer with that one. Iowa State minus 13 against Baylor is my second best bet. So I'm going to throw Houston in there plus 16 and a half against my better judgment. And then Iowa State against the Baylor Bears. Another one the computer really likes. And I have some leeway here as well. Well, they've got Iowa State winning this football game by a final score of 35 to 18. That is 17 points. Iowa State, a 91% chance to win with them favored by 13 and a half. I'm going to buy the hook, put them at 13 points. I've got four points of wiggle room right there. Iowa State's defense is fourth against the pass. It is 37th against the rush. Baylor is bad at both running and throwing the football, actually. So that bodes well for Iowa State. And then offensively, Iowa State very balanced. 24th running the football, 39th throwing the football. They're also fairly good on third and fourth down, though Baylor's defense is solid. I think Iowa State has proven when it plays a good defense, it can still score enough points to win and to win handedly in this matchup, a la last week, 20 to nothing they covered against Houston. Give me Iowa State to beat Baylor and cover this week. Another best bet that I have, Texas Tech plus five and a half against Arizona. If you ask the computer, based on the analytics, Texas Tech will not just cover in this game, but actually win by two points. So I know that at that point, I can take them plus five and a half and feel pretty good. College Football Insiders, they run every major analytic there is. They have Texas Tech with a 56% chance to win this game in Tucson, Arizona. And I know what you're saying. 
Arizona just beat maybe the best team in the Big 12, Utah, on the road. How could they possibly lose to Texas Tech? Well, my friend, you must not know much about the Big 12. That's kind of what we do around here. That's a little bit of like how things go for us. You just don't really ever know. And the analytics here that I'm riding with say Texas Tech will win. Tech, 15th running the football. 35th passing the football in the country. Arizona defensively, 49th against the rush, 52nd against the drop back. That gives Tech an advantage. Here's the big one. Third and fourth down success for Texas Tech offensively. 16th in the nation. You know I love late downs. 16th in the nation. Arizona defensively, 72nd. So while Texas Tech defensively has not been very good and Arizona might put up 38 points, as long as Texas Tech puts up 35, 34, we cover five and a half. I like Texas Tech as a best bet this week to cover against Arizona. Even if they lose, but only lose by three, they win us that bet. Arizona State facing Kansas. If you've watched the show, you would know that every week I pick Kansas for some reason. And I don't know why I pick Kansas, but I do. Usually the computer always is like, well, this is the week they're going to do it. I'm done trusting. One in four Kansas. I'm done. For the first time in Locked On Big 12 history, this year at least, I'm picking against the Jayhawks, taking Arizona State at home to cover two and a half. College Football Insiders, Stats O War on Twitter, has Arizona State 32, Kansas 22. A 10-point victory for the Sun Devils. They have a 76% chance of victory as well. They are 12th in the country defensively against the rush, 32nd against the pass. Kansas is 48 running the football, 92nd throwing it. They stink throwing the football. Kansas defensively does not grade well against the pass or the rush. 50th against the run, 86th against the drop back, and they're 108 defensively on third and fourth down. They struggle to get off the field. Arizona State. Yeah. Levitt, Scadaboo, Dillingham, a win. Is coming. I go one in five Kansas. Tell your kids. That's not very good. Not very good. Log it in. Log of the week. Arizona State. Minus two and a half. Then UCF plus one against Florida. What I will do here, and I've told you this in the past, I'm going to say plus one for the semantics, but I'm going to take UCF outright. I will be at this game. Apparently a former president will too, which seems really like, I, I don't care. Like whoever celebrities or whatever can show up at any event. And I'm like, okay, like Taylor Swift's here. Cool. The president, former president's here. All right, sweet. It doesn't affect my viewing experience. Great. Cool. Awesome. I just don't like, does that, you think it's going to give UCF a boost or Florida a boost? I don't know. Could that be the difference? I don't know. I don't think so. What I do think could be the difference is UCF's offense, 12th running the football, 13th in the EPA drop back. How? I don't know, but those are the analytics. Florida's 113th in the country against the EPA drop back, 99th EPA rush. <clears throat> Bad. UCF's also fifth in the country on third and fourth down success. Good. UCF's defense, ninth against the rush. They're ninth against the rush. 74th against the drop back. That really went down last week facing Chadur Sanders. And in this game, with pomp and circumstance, with a politician in the house, Florida's going to fire its football coach, and they're going to let that celebrity guest do it. They're going to let him do it at halftime on the field. They're going to bring him out, and he's going to say, you fired. <laughs> Get it? See what I did there? They're going to do it to Billy Napier. I don't even know if it's true. I just Someone told me, they're like, oh, you know, that like the former president's going to be there. And I was like, oh, okay. Cool. It just feels like a random game. Like, if I... You know, if I'm campaigning, not like, yo, Florida, UCF. Cool. Like there's got to, who else is playing this week? Hold on. Do you know, this is a fun fact about me. I don't look at like any other game in the country. Last week, I learned very late that Oklahoma and Tennessee are playing. It's like, oh, okay. I just watched the big 12. Missouri A&M could go there. Like if you're a celebrity and you want to go to a game, that's kind of a fun one. Uh, Ole Miss at South Carolina. Are there like just almost no, yeah, a, there's one top 25 matchup. Well, this week kind of sucks. Huh. Better excuse to watch the Big 12. We're always entertaining. So that's it. Those are your five picks. Houston plus 16 and a half against TCU. I'm just, just like a death sentence to pick that, but I'm going to. Iowa State minus 13 against Baylor. Texas Tech plus five and a half against Arizona on the road. And Kansas minus two and a half. No. Arizona State minus two and a half versus Kansas at home. UCF money line against Florida. They're going to win. Parlay them all together. It's plus 2,156. That's that's a lot of good odds. Today's show is brought to you. It is huh, by FanDuel. FanDuel is the place that I go 
to place wagers on college football every week in the NFL too. I actually um, I'm better at college than the NFL, obviously, but I like FanDuel and it's fun to do. FanDuel.com is where you can go right now and get $200 in bonus bets. Guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. Yeah, one $5 bet, $200 in bonus bets, big guy. That's crazy. NFL fans can start the season with a big return on FanDuel. You can check out the latest stats, you live play-by-play, and so much more on the same page where you place your bets at FanDuel. So if you're not a big wager, that's fine. Go look at the play-by-play. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Visit them today. FanDuel.com. Visit them today. Uh, like I said, tonight, the squad show drops. It is hilarious, as always. More hilarious than usual, even. Um, that's on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. Also, watch the uh, Savannah Bananas YouTube page, Banana Ball World Tour Draft. I'll be there. I'll be there helping announce picks and whatnot for where all we're going this next year on Banana Ball. You know it. I love it. Uh, This has been Always Will Be. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. Locked on. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. Doce Grande.